Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osher Vox, and with the new episode promo of Steven Universe teasing the beginning of a healthy relationship between Steven and the Diamonds, something very interesting yet concerning came about from it. Blue Diamond ponders how the Crystal Gems even survived their attack. We get confirmation that the Diamonds intended to actually destroy every single gem when Blue Diamond, Yellow Diamond, and White Diamond combined their powers and launched one final attack on the planet. So what's the deal? Were they just unaware that their powers Powers would cause corruption and I mean from what we've seen of corruption and correlate them to the diamonds abilities it does make sense that each individual ability would serve a separate role in reducing a gem into just a mindless monster yellow diamond disrupting a gem's physical form blue diamond disrupting their emotional state and white diamond assumably disrupting their mental state yet it does seem hard to believe that the diamonds would be that unaware of their own strength frankly I don't buy it and it seems as if other fans don't either as a new fan theory has been making waves around the internet and it's simple yet very compelling. The theory is that Rose Quartz or Pink Diamond was actually the one responsible for corruption. Although very, very indirectly. Essentially when Yellow, Blue, and White came together for their attack, it was going to obliterate every gem on the planet. But one thing changed everything. Rose's shield. When Rose pulled in Garnet and Pearl under her shield, the other diamonds attack bounced off. It created a reverb. Instead of the attack being neutralized, Alternate effects spread across the earth, and that's what caused each and every gem to become corrupted. Now, this does line up with Steven's questioning of the diamond attack in Monster Union, briefly interpreting it as a song. If the diamond's attack did bounce off of a Rose's shield and create a reverb, I do believe it would emit some kind of frequency, something that sounds like a song. Now, this fate would be bittersweet. On one hand, Pink Diamond still prevented thousands and thousands of gems from being destroyed. They ended up corrupted, almost beyond recognition, but then at the same time, they could ambiguously be saved. This is a pain that Pink Diamond would never have to have known, as she ceased to exist before this revelation, and she already faced immense guilt in the first place, but maybe that immense guilt Pearl has spoken about before in the show in relation to Rose and the corruption is because she did know protecting Garnet and Pearl would result in everyone else becoming corrupted, and this result does have a bit of foreshadowing. Recently in Maid of Honor and Business Return, upon encountering a corrupted big she comes to the conclusion that only a diamond could do this kind of damage, and then accuses Pink Diamond of being the one responsible. Now, we know how the show loves to foreshadow, loves to blow our collective minds you're watching old episodes and going, oh my god, that actually happens. Well, what's a bigger OMG moment than Pink Diamond being indirectly responsible for turning her own comrades, her own army, the crystal gems as they used to know it, into animals? Now, should this be the case, one, whoa, a heavy topic such as corruption already got heavier, but also, this plays into the theory we have on the channel that in order for Steven to heal corruption, he'll need the assistance of yellow, blue, and white. That all three, or should I say, all four diamonds come together and undo the damage they caused. And going off our own theory, we also speculated that season six would be about convincing white diamond to help out and restore all of these gems, as I strongly believe she'll be against it. And as I said in my breakdown for the previous promo, it looks like the show will go in that direction. And I do do believe current corruption will come at some sort of price. Whether that's Homeworld using the newly restored crystal gems for their own means, or if undoing corruption will have some sort of disastrous side effects for Steven. We'll just have to wait and see, but I don't think the wait will actually be that long. This is where I turn the conversation over to you guys though. What do you think? Could Rose's shield have caused corruption? How crazy would that be? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet them directly to us at Ostrakvox, or at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at RoundtableVids. If you went up the Roundtable Girls, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks every name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Austrick Vlots, out.